20 you guys so in this video I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how I build a manifold for um, my DRR, DRLA Donardo carb that I'm gonna want to use for my for my turbo build and those carbies have got the same footprint as the as the downdraft Solex that same type carby uh, the IDF Weber and also the MP carb um, uh, the copy of the of the of the Weber. It's got the same the same footprint. Um, those manifolds, as far as I know, is not available. And they're certainly not available yet in South Africa. And I would really like to use that carby because it's a special turbo blow through turbo carby. Um, it will make my life easier with jetting and all of that. Um, so so this is how we do it. So I'm going to use the cylinder head as a mock up for my for my manifold because I need to take it into the welding shop to have it welded. And, and I clean it up and I always go over it with a with a flat file just to make sure that it's flat and I noticed it was sticking out big time and when I looked over here it's a metal insert someone previously has put a metal insert there so obviously that's now higher than the rest of the surface and hence it won't seal properly so I'm just going to take the air tool and grind it flat see there how much it actually sticks out anyway I'm gonna flatten that quickly so I've bolted the manifold on I'm obviously gonna slice it off there and slice it off there weld a piece of tube in and then put my plate on top but I've noticed a gap over there and look at it I can actually slide a piece of paper in there and that comes from over tightening stuff it's even the same on that side so once i've welded up my manifold i'm gonna have to put that in the mill and just mill it flat look at that paper will disappear in there over tightening stuff incredible eh so okay i've cut this piece out um this must go to the welding shop that must weld a piece of thick aluminium in there for me um, and then this will this will be welded on exactly in the middle uh, but I'll also put it at an angle because the engine has always had a slant to the back so this side will drop more than that side so that the float sits level on it I think it's gonna it's gonna work well uh, all of that I'll have to machine out and what have you um, but it'll be good anyway off to the welding shop so I've got my manifold, you can call it that, back from the welding shop. They've put a thick wall aluminium tube in there for me. And they've squeezed it flat because this part of the manifold here is not oval. So now the next thing I've got to do is to put this plate on so I can mount my carby. But I, I need to decide if I'm going to put it on like that or put it on like that. And my carby will decide that. So just to make it simple, I want my throttle cable to work easily. So I'm going to put a normal Nissan 1400 um, throttle link on there and a little bracket. In other words, this, this carby will sit there somewhere. And I'll make a bracket for the throttle cable so it must, it must look like, like it's supposed to be like that. So to do that, it means this manifold of mine and this flange of mine will be will be there um so i must i must get it aligned and everything and then and then it'll be welded on there but the engine sits at a slant in the car which means this side of the manifold must lift up um to compensate for the slant because i want the floats i want the floats in here to sit parallel i don't want them to be sitting like that so it means I must put my cylinder head like that in the milling machine and mill that angle on it um, so that my carb when, the, when it's in the, in the engine uh, the engine in the car so that it's, it's got the right slant on it if you look over there you can see that the valve cover is at a slant to the back and that Weber carb of mine sits more or less spirit level so that's 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 what we need to achieve when I cut that um, manifold of mine 
um, in the milling machine. So we can have that same angle um, on, on this manifold that I'm making. So unfortunately, there's a couple of video clips that I lost. Um, I make these videos on my phone. I don't know. I don't know how I managed to lose it. But you can see there that I've that I've I've mulled that skew um, so that when this is in the in the car with the, with the slant on the engine, that it's that the carby will sit level. And then and then what I did after that, I tacked just tacked in a in a in a few spots. And then I milled out the holes inside, and I also I also punched it out. Um, I heated it up, and I punched that out to to open this up. If I if I show you like this, you can see there that it comes out. It makes a bit of a bit of a stomach there, and on that side, and on the inside as well. You can see there that I've I've knocked it out so that so that it's easier to to weld closed. So after a bit of grinding, I used this air tool of mine um, with some of these bits and some of those. I actually started off with this one, take all the rough edges off and then after that I used one of these little paper ones and then to get into right at the bottom over there, um, I used this one that's on the it's on my E2 now. Um, I think it came out okay. I had it in my sandblasting tank as well. So, uh, not too bad. It's, it's full of dust and everything. I'm still cleaning it up. But that's what it looks like. That's my, that's my manifold. I think it's so cool. So, I must put it on my van and give it a go. I still have to put my four inserts in there. For the studs, make my two spaces and then, but I'll do that in a different video. So, uh, there it is, the manifold. So, there you have it, manifold done. You don't have to build a manifold like this. Um, you can use you can use whatever carb you, you're happy with on your on your turbo build. But I, I've got hold of this DLR, DLRA, DRLA, sorry, <laughs> uh, uh, Dolorto turbo carby they were specially made and designed for turbo, turbo applications blow through turbo and and you know i wanted to use it and that's why i decided to make this manifold so um yeah hope this helps someone be safe out there